Other than Jesus, uh, it is said and known and believed that the wisest man that ever lived, King Solomon, son of David. Um, in Proverbs chapter 1, um, it's interesting. Uh, we tend to run toward that verse, which is really good, uh, that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, beginning of wisdom. Uh, but there's a couple of words that are found uh, in verses 5 and 8, and it's the simple word, listen. Some Bible translations have the word hear. Uh, it is the Hebrew word shama, S-H-A-M-A, shama. It's that same word, the great shama, Deuteronomy uh, chapter 6. Hear, O Israel, the Lord your God is one. Um, that word shama, it's used well over 400 times in the Old Testament is the idea of paying attention uh, in order that you can comply completely and obey fully. Pay careful attention so you can comply completely or obey fully. Um, there's something about listening. Um, I told someone the other day, uh, I interrupted them and I said, excuse me, please stop talking while I'm interrupting. Um, there's a reason, and Mama had it right, uh, why you have two ears and just one mouth. Uh, it's always a good thing to listen. Not only listen, but really hear. Hear what people are saying. Hear what God is saying. Uh, be able to receive and take in the message uh, of import uh, and the message of wisdom. Uh, wisdom uh, is the ability uh, to make good decisions and as a result to live skillfully. Wisdom uh, is the ability to make good decisions and as a result to live skillfully. Uh, so let me encourage you with this. Just think about this. Today's Vesper is the word listen or the word hear. I don't know of any relationship in all of my life that could not be improved if I were not a better listener. Two ears, one mouth. Listen attentively in order that you can comply completely and obey fully gain a heart of wisdom. How? By being a better listener. Hope you've had a wonderful day. God bless you. Have a good evening.